lots of scrollers. It's Nerp here, and here we have match two of the scrolls casual league. And I'm gonna go turn one crossbowman, turn two infantryman. Do I keep the agent or the pother? I'm actually gonna get rid of the uh, Relorus. Eh, actually, I'll get rid of the pother. I'd rather just have a flow of creatures I can play. So this is uh, my next matches uh, are supposed to be against Weiler, who uh, was the guy who organized basically the tournament. Okay, let's play the infantryman now. It's hard for him to play something uh, now because I can just move all my guys towards it. So, interesting. That means he's probably not playing an aggro deck, so I better deal some damage fast. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna move down. The question is where I want to place things. I'm gonna place the Aging Knight in the back, actually. Because in case he wanted to protect this, then the crossbowman would be able to take out whatever beefy thing is in the front, and then the Aging Knight would be able to take out the Vengeful better. And next turn I can go with the Lord Knight. Would have preferred, obviously, a 3-drop to play this turn instead of the Aging Knight, but... Oh well. Okay, Earthborn Keeper. I'm glad he's actually playing some units. I was a little afraid of him just, you know, going for a Fertile Soil Quake soon. Okay, so I think we just go with the, uh, the Relorus. I'm just going to kill that, and then I guess maximize my idle damage. Just in case he like plays like a Rat King and gets 3 attack next turn, I'm not going to move up. I'm just going to stay low. Although, it is tempting to try to deal more damage to the middle idol as tempo order. So I, I edited this deck a bit uh, from its last iteration. I basically made it even more aggressive. I took out like... I took out the, the vanguards, so the deck really only goes to four to four resources. Uh, I was hoping to top deck that. Okay, that's fine though. Question is... Do I move up now? I don't think I move up. I think I stay where I am. Okay. And next turn we can deal a lot of idle damage with the Focus and the Relorus. Yeah, he's, he doesn't look like he's a late game deck. I think uh, there's a lot of creatures that are attacking every turn from him though. But if I can just take out that middle idle, it's pretty good. Mm, flip is tempting. I'm actually not going to bother with the flip though. I'd rather keep the focus. I think I can win this game rather quickly. Because if I roast if I roasted bean potion the crossbowman, it will have six attack. We'll have five attack without this. Um Do I want to try to take out that middle idol right now? I wish I had a skirmisher there instead. Okay, so if I roasted beam potion, it would have five attack on the middle. I could make it get to. S I could take out middle idol right now if I wanted to. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that though. He's gonna be able to take out some units of mine soon. Okay, I'm gonna have to move up. I think. Don't love that, but at least this is in decimation range now. And uh, he has a lot of things attacking every turn too, so I can't really just leave this middle row just completely untouched. Okay, no Kinfolk veteran, veteran, which is good. He's gonna need to play some two creatures to make this have three attack to take out an infantryman in one one go. So if if he does start blocking this, I have decimations, and I um, also have a I think one faith blessing just as well extra. Oh boy. Okay, so he's going to take that out. A little scary. Let's see. Okay, there's a Faith Blessing. So I can take that idol out. I can deal... S I think I'm going to... Hmm, pretty close to winning. Because I can just take out this idol. If I take out that idol... What do I sacrifice? The Rose Beam Potion is so valuable. But I think the focus is... I don't think I need the focus actually, right? Because if I focus this, it'll have seven. I can kill it there. 
can destroy that idol. Hmm. I'm gonna actually get rid of the beam potion. Okay, give me decimation or something. Pother. I'm going to... Believe it or not, I might... Should I, just, should I be safe and, and take out some idols? I'm gonna be safe and destroy this. I think I need to. It has stag heart. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get all crazy with funny business here. And now I kinda wish... I kinda wish that I kept that roasted bean potion. But it's not a huge deal. Just a single ragged wolf would take this out now. I wanted to protect the skirmisher because that's... That's really gonna plow through anything that growth can put out. Okay, he's gonna try to t win this game before I can win this game. It's a little scary. I have a pother though. Darn. Favored. Favored could be pretty useful. Mm. Dangerous, dangerous. It's pretty close. Crap, I wish I had that rose bean potion. Um... What do I sacrifice? Do I sacrifice the favorite? I think I have to. Favorite costs a lot. Okay. I'm I'm gonna have to just put down the skirmisher because I can't I can't do any big play this turn. So hopefully these guys on the bottom can do stuff. If I play this up here, can he win the game? He might be able to. He might be able to win this game. And that would not be good. If I play this up top. He can deal eight to that, and then he deals four to that. This is risky, very risky. I'm gonna play the play the skirmisher. I'm gonna protect the idol. Actually, he can he can hit any idol, so I'm just gonna play. It. Is it possible for him to win? Okay, I don't think it is. If he doesn't win, I might be able to. I can go for resources and play Pother, Faith Blessing, and Focus. So right now, these two would kill this idol. The Faith Blessing can kill Middle Idol. But I don't have a unit to play. Mm, that's actually that's actually rough. This is pretty tense. I only kept that Roasted Bean Potion. Although now I can... I can go to the middle idol with a pother on my own unit to get that extra move. Rat King. Okay, so this skirmisher is going to survive a turn. It's pretty cool. It can be interesting what he does. If, if he's smart, I think he just move up and just try to win before I can win. Okay. Let's see. So if I do four attack there, I don't think I can win this turn. I think I'm gonna have to fill the board with stuff. I am going to I need to play units. I'm gonna get rid of the paw there, believe it or not. As much as I like the pother, I don't think it's going to do me good right now. Okay, double focus. I don't think I have a win still. Because I can't place a unit there and do anything. Okay, so. Let's see if we can protect this guy. I mean, he can't kill more than three things in a row. So let's put the four health thing in front. Let's put a crossbow in here. And now let's see. One, two, three, four kills that, and then I will deal some damage here. Okay, and then I have another thing attacking there. Very, very tense. <laughs> yeah. I hope he doesn't have a rumble. That could be devastating. Oh boy, I need a blessing of haste. He goes for resources. What's he gonna do with that? I 
really hope he's not able to take out the Skirmisher. Crimson Bull. Okay, that Skirmisher's dead. I really need to win next turn. <laughs> Okay. Blessing face. What do I do? Um. Hmm. Wish I had one more resource. If I just have one more resource. If I have one more card, I can, I can use it. Okay. So this this can kill the middle idol. Crap. I don't think I can do it. Cause I can I can blessing of haste focus. Let's see. So blessing of haste focus will make this have seven. Wait, can I just win? Because if this moves up, this attacks this idol, and I and I kill it. Blessing of haste, focus, this idol's down. And then I win with the faith blessing. Target unit you control takes two damage damage. Opponent's idol. I think that's GG, that's four resources. GG, WP. Wow. That was tense. Blessing of haste. Focus. Faith blessing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> doesn't get doesn't get closer than that. And just switching it up. Turn two Nognas, that's pretty good. I don't love this. I still go turn two Nognas, but I wish I had, I wish I had like a brute. Let's see what he's doing. Is he still gonna go with uh Is he still going with growth? He is still going with growth, okay. Well, let's hope he doesn't have as crazy a start as last time. I'll play the Nognest? He plays a Brave. He just puts the Brave next to the Nognest. I'll play the Brave. And hope I don't get double Ragged Wolf. He's playing the same deck as last time. I think I like my odds because, I don't know, late game growth that goes first. That starts with a turn two Brave. It's pretty good. Okay, probably the same deck. Okay, the question is... I'm gonna get rid of the Frost Scale. I'd rather have a clear ramp up. Let's play the Nog Nest. Do I want to move down? He's gonna play a 3 cost. He's gonna play something with 3 cost. I could have 3 health. I'm just gonna play the Nog Nest up here. Right in the middle. I'd rather not move down and lose my nogs because he has skythorn that's interesting um a verdant remnant might have to go but i'd rather have the fertile soil i think hmm I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and Rat King, and I am going to protect this because I don't want to see like a champion ring being able to kill my Nognus. And since he's gonna be able to deal damage to a rat anyways, I might as well keep back. I'm not gonna take damage on my Brave. I'd rather just the Skythorn in case he has a full soil. Or I want, or I have a for the soil. Although maybe I should have in case I top deck a veteran. Dealt, dealt damage to the uh, Skythorn. This is weird. What does he have? Is this, is this Blinky's weird deck with the end of reason shenanigans? If so, I'm playing right into that. Nog. And a Ragged Wolf. Interesting. Fertile soil this turn. I think I'm gonna fertile soil. What's he gonna do next turn? I don't know. I don't know what to do, so I'm just gonna fertile soil. Okay. I could have sacrificed for scrolls and then played the brother of the wolf, but I think this is fine. Okay. So we have two more Frost Scales and three Quakes we can top deck. Or maybe two Quakes, actually. I think I only run two Quakes. Does he have a way to take that out? No, he doesn't. Okay. 
So now we get some creatures. That's nice. Ooh, double Mangy Wolf after this Great Wolf, I think, is going to be the move. Okay, so I'm going to take out the Nog. And... Unfortunately, the Nogs are d both down there. So it's hard for me to protect everything I want to protect. Okay, so do I put the Great Wolf behind the Brave or in front of the Brave? He can only have... He can't get... His positioning is kind of weird. Put the Great Wolf here. Then, if he plays a Veteran, he would be able to deal 3 damage to the Great Wolf. Crimson Bolt, Crimson Bolt will do the same. If he plays a Veteran, he just outright kills this then. I'm going to... Uh, 3 and 4. I'm going to risk it and play the Great Wolf in the middle. A little risky, I think. But... I don't know. It's gonna survive. Unless he has a Ragged Wolf Crimson Bull. Veteran time? Okay. Fine. That, that, that's actually why I like that more now. What I did. He is now. Otherwise the Brave was gonna die. Okay, now we... Now we wreak havoc. So Mangy Wolf makes this deal four. I think I go with the Mangy Wolf. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the sister of the owl right now. I kinda like the other stuff. And next turn I can Yarl maybe. Um, unfortunately, can't play something else with this. So this will have if I do double Mangy Wolf, it does clear this row. So Mangy Wolf makes this... Does he have a Quake? That would be bad. It's Quake. I'm just going to play one Mangy Wolf for that reason. I'm going to move this up to... Play this there. If I, if I play the um, other Mangy Wolf, I would have actually cleared that, cleared that row. I don't think it's worth it, though. Don't know if his deck is running Quakes, but it'd be pretty good for him to play one about now. So next turn, I could Yarl. Stag Heart. Okay. So what does a Yarl do? I think I go with the Mangy Wolf, Brother of the Wolf, I think. Because the Mangy Wolf makes this attack for four. So that's two, then this takes out both of those. That's two damage on the Skythorn. So what is that? Two damage on the Skythorn, and then four damage takes out the Skythorn and the Ragged Wolf. And then... And there's just this Wetland Ranger to get hit with three attack. Two attack. Eh, maybe I won't do that. Maybe I just Yarl? If I Yarl, yeah, I'm just going to Yarl, I think. Um, do I take out this, this stuff, though? I think I should. Kind of hurts to do that. Hopefully he doesn't have another stack card or two. Another close game. No stack hearts. Wish I had like a god hand or something to make that Yarl attack next turn. I mean, he could pretty easily kill these guys. But as long as this Great Wolf survives, which I think it will. Fjords of Vigor. He's got three. Okay. Yeah, I don't think his deck is like late game-ish. My, my deck is, so once I get a quick, that's good, but if he gets another stack card or two out, then it's going to be really hard to survive things. No stack card, please. How much attack would this have if I could put a stack card on it? It would get to... It would get plus three attack, I think, after that. So I think it would get to five, so this would still survive. Well, 
What's he thinking? Okay, so. That Nog is dead. The Brave is dead. Vetter. Okay. It'd be nice to get a uh, Ragged Wolf or something. God Hand. That's not really what I wanted. Um, so I can deal four damage with the Manchu Wolf. So I might have to play that. I wish I had a Ragged Wolf, though. I'm going to get rid of the Remnant because, although it's nice as a wall, I think I need to play multiple things. I mean, I could sacrifice the resources, go Verdant Remnant, Manchu Wolf. I think I will. I think I'm actually going to do that, yeah. Instead of tempting fate. Yeah, we'll tempt fate. Because he's going to be able to take out the Verdant Remnant's 5 health for you. Oh, I feel bad about that one. Okay, so we'll kill this. This is going to get to 6 attack, actually. This can get to 7. Let's see, 7. Wait, so I can, if I play both of these, this would have 6 attack. So 6 attack doesn't kill the row. Right? It doesn't, right? There's 1, 2, that's Ragwell's out, and then that is 6. And that has 7 health. Okay, so I'm not going to clear that row. However, oh, should I, I should have played the, uh, the Brute first. Oh, well. Wasted one countdown. But I think that's fine. Because I don't think the brute's surviving. My my slightly not efficient move. Okay, I like my footing now. Considering quakes are probably not in this deck. I can make the the Great Wolf attack next turn. And I don't think there's a way for him to destroy this Kinfold Garl right now. It would need like a even a double Ragged Wolf Crimson Bowl wouldn't do it. That was a pretty good top deck with that Ragged Wolf, but I think I was fine regardless, because if I played the Verdant Remnant or something... Well, actually, the Ragged Wolf... Oh boy, that thing's huge. What does this do? Plus two health. Okay, that's it. We're just gonna have to kill that now. Okay. Sorry, dude. hate getting rid of a Ragged Wolf, but I'd rather have my Great Wolf attack every turn. So that's, um... It's gonna attack for... Or do I just play the veteran? I think I just play the veteran. Yeah. Going pretty well. Getting the cards I need. Can't complain. If I win this game, I shouldn't get ahead of myself, but I think I'm pretty much in control of my own destiny. Uh, do I just god hand here? Tough sacrifice here. I'm already ahead of scrolls and resources. I think I can get rid of the fertile soil. I don't really want to play a Manji Wolf when I don't need to. And I'm not fertile soiling any of those two creatures, that's for sure. And I want to get a wall in front of that. Okay. Great Wolf is going to be the wall. <laughs> yeah, okay. we can... We can get these... Uh, I could have played double Manji Wolf to make sure that this wolf died, but I don't, I don't think I need to do that. For the next four turns, we can have all my things attack. <laughs> I think that would be enough to win the game. Okay, so Manji Wolf time. We're not quaking at this point. Okay. So Manji Wolf Brave, I guess. Um, let's move that down here, actually. So, 6 plus 5. That idol's destroyed. Okay, I'll just let... You know what? I'm going to take out the bottom idol, I think. A little weird to do that, I think, but... I don't think there's any way we're losing now. He has no cards. Nothing for him to do. I think a god hand next turn, I have to win. Because these great wolves are pounding through. Is that, is that going to be game? And I still have a Mangy Wolf left over. Okay. I'm not even going to add it up, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. Alright. We fend off the aggro with late game growth. The true growth deck is superior. 
So thanks for watching everybody. Undefeated still in this casual league. And next I'll be playing either Blinky. Um, or yeah, I'll have to play Blinky next.